Hi crafters, this is Crafty Savvy and I'm back today to show you what I've been working on. Um, so I'm going to show you my little project here and then I'm also going to share a little bit of uh, some stuff that I purchased from scrapbook.com and um, some cute things that I got and before I actually started using them thought I would share. So if you guys recall a couple of videos back maybe I showed you some napkins that I purchased from eBay and um, really quite beautiful and I was glad that uh, I was able to get three of each kind so that I could um, Mod Podge some of them to some papers and then I totally went berserk and I, I took out all my napkins so here's my bin uh, of sort of my collection of napkins um, I have some here that I have had since I was a little girl. I had a neighbor who, an old woman at the time, um, sort, of, sort of got me into collecting some napkins and I'm not sure if I ever shared these with you. Maybe that's another video, but anyhow, I've had those since I was probably 10 or 11 years old. Um, so I, I, I don't have the heart to do anything to those, but anyway. So I took out some other napkins that I had and started playing around. So I just wanted to show you really quick what I did. There are a lot of videos out there that I sort of got the idea from. This is not my idea, but anyhow. So I just want to show you that I, I used two kinds of paper. So one was um, music, music page uh, and the other was just some book page from a girl's own diary or something like that that I had. If you recall, I had this particular one, and as you've seen already, I just Mod Podged it. Um, very light on the Mod Podge, a little bit of water. Uh, these were super thin, this particular one, so you can really see the music paper through that quite well. So that's just one napkin I cut it in four. So really quite beautiful. This one, I'm not, this was on some book page. So it looks quite a bit, same napkin, just quite a bit different. I love these. I cannot wait to use them uh, in my projects. Then you recall that beautiful little girl there. And then I put her on some book page. Oh, I don't you, I just love this. <laughs> and some music page. I don't like it as well, but um, it's still beautiful. And a little bit more book page. And then the butterflies that look like this. These are so beautiful. I just love this on some music paper. I did this one on some book page. Uh, music and book page. So again, that's one napkin. And then this was... Let's see, this napkin here. I put this on some music paper. It's just a big giant piece. I haven't cut it yet, but oh, isn't it beautiful? Just love it. Can't wait to cut into that one. And then this one was the, the lovely roses. This one I put on book page. It was so pretty. I'm going to say that for all of them. <laughs> I'm a little attached. And then I had that um, black, black one with the um, beautiful flowers on there. Just love that one. And I put this on some book page. It's a little more difficult to see, but you can see it through the sort of uh, lightest flowers there. Also really beautiful. I love that one. And then these were some napkins that I had. This is uh, some hummingbirds, really pretty. Uh, some roses. This was like some, obviously some wine <laughs> bottles. Really cute. Uh, this is like a coffee one. Uh, this is just some more hummingbirds on some music paper. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, I just love this one. Somebody sent me this napkin. I don't really remember who it was now. I wish I did. This is some, quite some time ago. Um, but there's muse, or sorry, um, book page under there. So beautiful. 
This one has birdies and book page. It's beautiful flowers. That could be upside down, not really sure. <laughs> um, this is just something I had. Some book page under there. Cute little basket, little picnic set up there on some music paper. I love this one, it's gorgeous. Just the roses, the simplicity of just that one rose and then the music behind it, oh, just love it. Um, so good. <laughs> and then this one also, love these. What are those light locks? Oh no, maybe those are hydrangea? What do you guys think? I think that's hydrangea, not sure. So pretty. And then these are just some blue. Uh, it says roses there. Love that. Some lavender. That's just on some book page. And again, some really pretty roses. Oh, that's a bigger piece right there. So this is, oh, I love this one too. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun to, uh, you know, I don't know, make tags with and journal pages and I'm looking forward to figuring out some new ways to use it. This is a, a napkin that I had. Never really cared for it much until I got it onto this paper. Now, I, I don't know, just something about it. I think it's the colors. Oh, this is a really cute sort of, uh, what has it got on there? Eiffel Tower, says Metro. I've used this before, this napkin, I think in some projects you might have seen. And then so finally, there's this one. So yeah, uh, great fun making those. Um, so yeah, get your napkins out and get a couple of pieces of a music page or book page or whatever you like and get your uh, Mod Podge out. And I just had a great time doing it. I couldn't wait for them to dry to see what they would look like. And then, um, so just a quick little, some things that I purchased. So, um, something came up on my, in my email, I don't know, from, I don't, I've never ordered from here before. It just came up from scrapbook.com. You guys may have heard of it before. Um, this came with what I just ordered now, Christmas in July. Unfortunately, it's not a coupon or anything like that I would have shared, but they were just showing, I guess, some things they might have for sale, on sale right now for Christmas in July. But scrapbook.com, if you'd like to go check it out. I have to say the prices were very reasonable. I don't know about you guys. I hear a lot of nice, that you guys got nice stores there in the States and I don't know how much you pay for something like this. I don't even quite remember. I think, well here, let's just say at Michael's in Canada, good chance I would probably pay in the store nine bucks for this, eight, eight or nine dollars. I'm not exactly sure, but it's it's up there. And I think I only paid $4.99 for these, or was it $4.99? Oh, I don't have the prices guys, but it was something like that, so I was happy because it's very hard to find a vintage photo. And um, so I got one of those. Um, this is Sizzix, so a Tim Holtz called Alterations Collection Texture Fades Embossing Folder. Hmm, that's a mouthful. And it's uh, lace. So that's what it looks like. And it's really pretty, so I'd like to do some embossing with this lace pattern. There, so I don't remember how much this was. 
And then I got this uh, ephemera pack. It's called Field Note Snippets from Tim Holtz. Oops, sorry about the glare. There are 134 pieces in there. They're pretty tiny, but uh, I need to make some tags. And I thought these might be good to use. So I got that. And then I got these. This is, uh, what are these called? Vintage Artistry Sky Collage Stacks. This is um, sort of in the blues. What do they call it? Um, just I have a little piece of it's a sky. Oh, a sky collection. Yeah, I guess hence the blue. And then this one they're calling coral collage, and it's more of a sort of pinkish. But what you do is I don't know if you can see the pictures there. I want to I want to use them sort of exact almost how how they have them here just build uh, build the things up and sort of make collages with them and I was hoping that it would help me uh, get better <laughs> improve my collaging techniques because um, I still struggle I'll just show you some of the things that are in it you get a lot of things so there are 52 pieces including 12 craft paper, um, 16 text weight, and 24 thick card stock. And then I guess they have other coordinating um, things that can go with it. Um, but a really a lot of neat things. So there's like tabs. Um, and then, like they said, there's some craft stuff here, ephemera, uh, all parts to go with it. There's like little flags and tags and little banners that I can use to collage with. Um, tickets. So there's a few of those. There's frames. These really cute. And then there's these. So I think there's like four of those that I can use. And then there's three sizes of, you can hardly see it, but it looks um, like old tape on there and very, very faint. Looks like there's um, like words pressed into there almost. Oops, having trouble focus. But anyway, uh, so there's two of each one, and then there's three different sizes. And then little cards here. Uh, oops, there's about four of them. Oh, this is a little bit bigger size than that other one. And then there's these um, craft card pieces, all different sizes. So I'm excited to play around with that and make some little so my hope is is to create some collaging pockets or something of that nature with these and then maybe figure out how to make some of my own with my own ephemera and in which case I'll show you when that happens and uh, if it happens <laughs> and so hopefully this will help me with my collaging a bit I'd like to think it will anyway. So th this is how the blue ones look. I just love the way everything's built up. Um, I'm not so good at that, but I hope to get better. And then uh, I got, they had lots of loose sheets of paper um, for, I don't know if they were on sale, but they were really cheap, I think. A dollar or less um, but look at these prints like this is called reminisce I think uh, Halloween collection so 12 by 12 double-sided paper but the images are stunning just love it so I got two sheets of that it's just sort of orange uh, print on the back 
So I got two of those. And then this most gorgeous paper. Um, I love fall. Autumn sunset. Autumn's, there, Autumn Sunset Collection from Prima. 12 by 12 sheet, but look at this. Oh, just gorgeous. That'll go really nice with my butterfly napkin. <laughs> Pumpkins and just beautiful. Oh, look thankful for you that is just beautiful and then the back is this print here really nice so I got um, two of those and then this is basically the same only they've got it um, so the image like that are the same but this one is much smaller this is a little bit bigger uh, I don't know if I made a mistake or what, but it's okay. I really love this paper anyway, so it appears that I got uh, four of them now. Well, two are a little bit different, just in size. So, and that one's just putting on the back. And that one's called Autumn Morning, also from Prima. And then I had to get another um, kit. This is from Cartabella and it's called Country Kitchen Collection. Now I'm going to show you. So quite some time ago, I made a cookbook. It's very thick. Um, this is before I started junk journaling and sort of vintage journals. Um, I'm not going to take you all the way through it, but uh, I'll link this video um, down below so you can have a look if you'd like. But I created this book. Um, so there's lots of elements, sort of very different than what I'm creating now. I, you know, I built all these pages and it just takes a lot longer. But the point of me telling you all of this is that I loved this, the paper that I used in here. And I could have sworn it was the same as the paper that I purchased here, but some some sheets are kind of the same and then um, I don't know. I guess I'm wrong because it is uh, it's different. But it just reminded me of this paper that I used in here and I was sort of sad that I didn't have any more because I used it all on this very thick cookbook. But nonetheless, I love this one just as much. So I have hopes to create another vintage style um, cookbook. I don't know if I'm going to do it in the same format, like building up those pages like that and putting different elements into it. I'm not too sure, but I uh, haven't figured that out yet. But anyway, there's all the stuff that's in there. This, this paper is just gorgeous also. It's thick and it's got that beautiful texture to it, but look at that. Just love it. It's all double-sided. The possibilities are just endless with this paper. Stripes, some chickens. Uh, look at the cutouts, they're just adorable. Cooking is love made visible. <laughs> so cute. So now that I see it, actually, this is kind of very different from that other paper that I got. But that's okay because I love this just as much. Welcome to our coop. Oh, that's so cute. So, yeah. So, I actually, uh, it came with only one of these, but I purchased one more. 
because uh, they had it, uh, um, I could buy a loose one, and it was just, is very inexpensive, so I purchased another one, because I kind of like that cue card thing, and I can tuck it into a pocket. So cute. Just love it. Like this is, oh my goodness. Kind of looks like a tablecloth and some plates and some roses. And then there's like a sticker sheet also. So fun. So, I don't know, I... Gonna have to decide what exactly I'm going to uh, do with it or what kind of journal I'm going to make or maybe another cookbook I'm not too sure but anyhow so that's what I purchased I hope you guys are all doing well and keeping safe and healthy and hopefully we'll be back soon with another project I got a few things on the go and um Take good care, you guys, and uh, we'll talk to you real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.